Okay friends, today we shall study about hydraulic system. What is a hydraulic system? Hydraulic system is a fluid power system in which oil under pressure is used as working fluid. This is block diagram of a hydraulic system and this is circuit diagram using symbols. The main components of hydraulic system are first one it is an oil reservoir in which oil is stored. Second component is pump. Pump it will suck oil and it will deliver oil to the system. Oil which is coming out of the pump it goes through 4 by 2 direction control valve which controls the direction of a flow of oil either in clockwise direction like this or in anti-clockwise direction like this. If oil is flowing from P to A and then from B to T then the cylinder will extend. If oil is flowing from P to B and A to T then the cylinder will retract. The direction control ball is used to control the motion of double acting cylinder. There is a flow control ball. This flow control ball will regulate the rate of flow of oil which is going into the cylinder so that the speed of extension of the cylinder can be controlled and there is a pressure relief valve pressure relief valve is a safety valve which will safeguard the system component against high pressure the pressure relief valve is set for maximum pressure in the system. If the pressure exceeds beyond the maximum pressure, then the pressure relief valve will open and it will release oil back to tank. The symbolic representation of each and every component is drawn in this circuit. Oil reservoir is shown like this and pump is shown by a circle with a triangle pointing outwards. And this is pressure relief valve. It has a spring here and an arrow. And this arrow, it shows the direction of flow of oil. In this position, there is no connection from inlet to outlet. When the pressure exceeds beyond the preset value, then this arrow arrow will move and it will make the connection like this so that oil can flow from inlet to outlet of the pressure relief valve. The pressure at which the valve should open is set with the help of a knob and a spring. By turning the knob, the spring tension can be increased or decreased or adjusted according to the requirement so that we can adjust the pressure at which the valve should open. <coughs> Now this is direction control ball. When the lever is kept in this position, there will be connection from P to A and B to T so that the cylinder will extend. When we shift the lever to the other position, the connection will be from P to B and A to T. Therefore, the cylinder will retract. And the flow control ball, flow control ball will adjust the rate of flow of oil which is going into the cylinder here so that the speed of extension can be controlled by controlling the flow control ball. And there is a check valve for reverse free flow. During retraction, oil flows through this check valve freely back to tank so that retraction speed is uncontrolled. We will have more retraction speed and slow extension speed. Okay, look at this animation. When the lever is kept in first position, P to A, B to T connection is made. Oil is flowing into the cylinder. Cylinder is extending. When I shift the lever to the other position, P to B, A to T connection is made. Cylinder was retracting. During extension, oil flows through the flow control valve. Oil is flowing through the flow control valve. That's why cylinder was extending slowly. During retraction, oil is flowing through the check valve. This flow is uncontrolled flow. Hence, the cylinder retracts with higher speed. During extension, oil can flow into the cylinder. And once the extension completes, no more oil can flow into the cylinder. That's why the pressure relief valve will open and oil flows back to tank through the pressure relief valve. In the same way, during retraction, oil is flowing into the cylinder. Once the retraction completes, oil can't flow to the cylinder further and pressure relief valve opens and oil flows back to tank. If pressure relief valve is not there, then what happens? If there is no pressure relief valve, then pump is pumping oil to the cylinder. But cylinder has completed its stroke. Cylinder is full of oil 
and oil can't flow to the cylinder but the pump is positive displacement pump it keeps on pumping oil the pressure in the system will increase beyond the limit and the system components will fail to avoid damage to the system components due to high pressure pressure relief valve is used pressure relief valve safeguards the system now we shall see what are the advantages of hydraulic system hydraulic oil we use in hydraulic systems this hydraulic oil is incompressible oil can be pressurized to very high value hence hydraulic systems can develop huge amount of force the force developed is the product of pressure of oil and area of piston the pressure in hydraulic system is very high and hence the force developed is also very high second advantage is the hydraulic systems are slower in operation slow operation is advantageous for heavy jobs if a big rock is to be lifted then it should be lifted slowly otherwise it may cause a big accident third advantage is hydraulic systems are very precise very precise speed control can be achieved hydraulic systems if overloaded the system will stall that means it will stop for a while and once the load is removed it will start working again in case of hydraulic systems automatic systems and safety circuits are possible since we use hydraulic oil the hydraulic systems are self lubricating there is no need of any space separate lubricating system design and construction of hydraulic system is very simple and compact the pipes can easily be bent and accommodated in the available space what are the limitations of hydraulic system very first is leakage of oil leakage of oil causes dirty surrounding slippery floor and will increase the chances of accident The hydraulic oils which we use are petroleum based oil hence there are chances of fire hazards if the temperature of the system or temperature of oil increases beyond certain limit the oil may vaporize and may catch fire and hence hydraulic systems should not be operated at hot surrounding because oil may gets overheated and its properties will destroy and oil will become corrosive and it may catch fire too hydraulic systems due to viscosity of oil they are slow in operation slow speed of operation may be disadvantage if higher speed is desired to us the operators should be given proper training regarding safety because an oil jet coming from a small hole in a pipe may have velocity higher than the velocity of a bullet shot by a gun oil can easily cut the skin and pierce into the body oil once entered into the human body can't be removed easily and it will set up gangrene and the affected part has to be removed resulting in permanent disability now the applications of hydraulic system hydraulic systems are used in machine tools cnc hydraulic press hydraulic shaper etc hydraulic systems are used for material handling equipments such as elevators forklift cranes lifts etc hydraulic systems are used in construction field all the earth moving machines such as excavators cranes bulldozers loaders dumpers tippers trucks and tractors hydraulic Hydraulic systems are used in automobiles for hydraulic brake, hydraulic steering, hydraulic suspension, hydraulic clutch, hydraulic power transmission, hydraulic coupling, hydraulic torque converter, and so on. Hydraulic systems are used in material testing laboratory. The universal testing machine. which we use in strength of materials lab and burst pressure testing machine to test the burst pressure of pipe hydraulic systems are used in aeroplanes for landing gears for brakes for flight controls such as rudder elevator flaps ailerons and cargo loading doors etc